Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Donahue, and today we're going to talk about when you should tell a partner that you're HIV positive. Now, if we're talking about just dating, there's some upsides and downsides to telling someone sooner versus telling someone later. If you decide to tell someone right away, the upside is that there's less attachment, so if possible rejection occurs, it's not going to feel as bad. The downside to that, though, is that you're possibly sharing really private information with a multitude of people. Now, if you wait until after a few dates, the upside is that someone's gotten to know you. And so if the disclosure is possibly triggering or more education is needed, they're willing to hang in there with you. But it also could hurt a lot more if you do get rejected or there's some kind of issue because you have formed an attachment. The downside is that some people might feel like there's no trust and they might have wished you had told them sooner. So you're gonna to have to weather that depending on what you really wanna deal with or encounter. Now, as far as disclosure around sex, I advise disclosing prior to sex because that falls under the concept of informed consent. Consent's very important, but people can't consent to something if they're not aware of all the factors that are tied in. You wanna also do some education because in some states and countries, it's illegal to have sex with someone without disclosing an HIV status, even if they're taking PrEP or you are undetectable. In addition, again, some people feel like if you've had sex with them and not disclosed, that they can't trust you because they sense or feel or see that you've held information from them. And it can also possibly, in some cases, lead to violence, so there's a risk. But please know that we get to have boundaries and that people have to work their way in and earn the trust and right for us to share more personal private parts of ourselves with them. So know that in an overarching way, it is a relational health issue, meaning people don't just get every piece of us right off the bat. We get to decide who we tell things with and when we tell them based on their level of attachment and how much time we've built with them in terms of relationality. We don't have to just anxiously share all of our parts of ourselves with others that maybe might be a struggle. So you have to really weigh the pros and cons to decide when you tell someone about your HIV status.